Sup chat. Sup YouTube. Welcome back to Kotar, Dark Side, Part Eleven. Uh, you didn't miss much. I off screen. I didn't. I didn't do anything. I said I was gonna do. I went and got, I went back into the Sith base, grabbed the data pad, turned the data pad into the Selkath guy, who like the father of the girl in the Selkath base. Turned that in for money. Left. Left Manon. I'm currently on Yavin. And that's about it. <laughs> uh, we're going to sell some stuff, and I'm going to go back to Manon. I'm going to keep playing. Uh, I don't need any companions for Manon. Or Yavin. I don't think I've even showed Yavin on... Oh, well, maybe I have. Maybe I went there like early, a couple episodes ago to like show it. Uh, we're just going to sell stuff. That's all I'm going to do here. Wait, what? How many people are- wait, why, why are there more people? Is something wrong? I like how there's no dialogue for the other guys. Just uh, checking audio and everything. I'll kill them. Let's sell, uh, get some more environmental bastion armor. Bastion? Just kidding. Um... Is his, wait, is his inventory better now? Oh, his inventory's fixed. So all the stuff I sold him a long time ago, because I've been selling him shit, right, chat? Is gone now. So he just has good stuff now. Stuff that I don't really care about, I don't think. That, that implant gives you, like, every feat ever. Holy shit. Right now, I'm not too worried about buying any of this stuff. I'm really just here to sell a bunch of shit. There. Let's see here. Starting at the top. Let's see what I don't need. Here's what I need. Let's see here. Jedi robes I'll never use because I'm not light side. Keep a couple armors in case people need them and some swords in case like mission it for something. I could sell Baka Ceremonial Sword. <laughs> I'll keep it. Whole bunch of lightsabers I do not need. This is why I come here, by the way, when I'm selling stuff, chat. Shouldn't have sold a couple of those, but it's okay. Actually, I don't need all these bowcasters. I don't need Chundars either. Because what's his name has his own. And Zalbar has his own. I can just keep Zalbars. Sonic. So much stuff to sell that I've never been really used, dude. Holy crap. Bro, look at the money we have at this point.
immunity to poison. I guess I can keep that. It's good for like people that kind of get poisoned. Honestly, I don't know why I'd actually need an implant that does that. Okay, well, I need that for a quest. A buy list. I sold something I kind of want back. Hold on. Let's go see if I can find it. Yeah. That. I'll take that back. I don't know what I just paid for it, but I'll take it back. What did I just pay for? Let's find out. 100 bucks. Whatever. Probably like two or $300, but whatever. I don't care. That's fine. We're up to chat. Just out of curiosity. 76,000 credits. Alright, that was about six minutes of me trading. I know that chat was a little bit boring. I just... I mean, you never, that's, why we, that's why I usually don't show me trading, but I did, whatever. I decided to show it today. I didn't expect to get an encounter, so that was interesting, I guess. Um... Yeah, back to Manon, just to keep playing, just to keep going on with the story for now. Uh, I didn't do any side quests off screen, like I said. I was going to, but I decided not to play this game tonight. Like, look, look, look I still have quests, so. Um, this is probably the only episode I'm going to record today, simply because the point. Well, I'm not that close to the point in overturn, but I'm I'm close to the point where some quests can't be completed, so. I'm pretty interested in, you know, not getting to that point before I can do... I want the XP. Like, I want to hit level 20 so we can be more powerful as we go. I don't want to actually, like, mess that up by, not, like, locking some quests behind the point of no return. It just skipped. Okay. That's fine, I guess. So, actually, update, because I did do a little bit of off-screen stuff, like, many episodes ago at this point. We, I did talk to the stowaway. I actually know where to get... I actually know... Wait. I don't remember this compartment being open like this. Huh? Oh, well. Kipuna, bona. Kipuna, tong abuksha. Kipuna, slima wanga. Kipuna, bon. How many times can I tell her to get off? Slima wanga. Tong abuksha. I get dark side points every time I do that. Wait, chat, wait, what? that's a. I didn't know that. That's insane. That must be a. That ha, I'm sure people know about that. That has to be known. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that, to be fair. I will only do it like one or two more times. I just want the dark side points back that we uh, wasted on uh, Kashik. Uh, off my ship. Go. Kipuna. Uh, blah blah blah, get out of here. I don't care. Find someone who cares. Uh, that's, I think that's hilarious. Let's see here. I'm gonna look up like Dark Kotar 1 Sasha bug. Kotar 1. Stumbled upon an infinite dark side. Yeah, there's an infinite dark side points glitch. <laughs> that's what that is. I actually fucking that's hilarious. Uh, I'm after this. I'm done. I'll, I'll just let her. No, suck it up. Yeah, that's infinite. You can just get dark side points off that. And she just disappears over the horizon. Oh, chat. We got rid of the stowaway. 
Uh, I didn't do it last time we played Light Side, but you get you can deliver her to a girl on uh, a guy, sorry, on Dantooine that will give her to her father. I didn't even do that last time, but that is what you do. Also, I did change all of our characters to dark side stuff, and as you know, they all have red lightsabers. What? Just for the sake of you know role play, I guess. Why not? Uh, we did just land back on Manon, so to be fair. Yeah, I know. The transit's not enabled because I don't, I landed here recently. Also, if you haven't noticed, the Gisk are gone, I think. I didn't see them on my ship. Got something on your mind? No, I never did, did I? Of course you do. I know things, remember? You think you can make it around this part of the galaxy without me? But, but uh, don't answer that. At any rate... I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. I mean, I guess. To bed. I'm old and tired, you know. How many kilometer high trees can you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? Right, I, I guess. You can't be bothered <laughs> to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. And then there's all hey. the critters. In the Shadowlands. I'm just happy to be back in space doing something new. Is that too much to ask? Honestly, dude, don't judge me. I could sit in this room for five days straight. <laughs> there. Now, was that so hard? An old man has to be allowed some petty eccentricities. Nice to see you agree for once. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Interest? Well, I certainly don't have a vested interest. Call it more idle curiosity. Your destiny is rather unclear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Something... something is very dark about you. But, ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. Yeah, that's true. Well, I for one am quite content to let you make your own mistakes. Just because I want to see where this ends up doesn't mean I need to tell you how to get there. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> that can be all bad. Know me, Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, you can find lore on all these people, last. he says, by the well, way. Like, quite a bit of lore on the internet. To be seen. For one thing, we'll that used to be canon when it was, until it was like, just sapped in fucking thing. Disney. Oh, stop being such a baby. Are you always so quick to turn aside an ally? Got too many of them, do you? One thing I will say I mean, yeah. is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Ah, uh, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! But I want to hear about Nomi. We will next time, Joe. After like five, ten more minutes of gameplay, he'll, he'll be willing to tell me about Nomi. We'll talk about it later. Might as well play the game for a bit, considering, you know, Um, I don't think I have to pay the $100 again unless I talk to the guy. But maybe they did interrupt you. I don't actually know. Hold on, let's find out. What's up, dude? I'm not paying the fee. Bye. <laughs> Bye. You're supposed to have to pay the fee in Manon every time. Uh, now what do we actually have to do? Turn in the Republic thing. So that is... West, I think? Oh, God. Uh, admittedly don't remember which side's which, but I, I know about which side's which once we get there, so I'll go west first. Okay, fuck off, Jolie. I bet it's Jolie. Uh, yeah, Bassa teleports to me, because she's a good little girl. Jolie's got a fu He's just so old and slow, Chad. <laughs> oh, come on, Jolie. A little quicker, please, man. Come, come on, man. You can do it, dude. Let's 
Let's go, dude. He did it. I was pumped to play this today, though, chat. I'm always pumped to play Kotar, to be honest. Pretty much. Like, uh, there's pretty much no... Well, this, uh, this is the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah, because Mercenary and Cliff only saw. Guess not. Guess I'll go east, Pog. Probably lose my companions again. Actually, I have an idea. If I do this... We can do two things if I do this. Um... For some reason that guy looked interesting, but he wasn't, so... I won't have to wait for my companions and I can just call them back. Pretty sure as long as I'm not in a special interior, yeah, I can still call them back and all that. Go to the Republic Enclave. After we pick up this quest that I don't know if I'm going to do on screen yet, or maybe I'll do some of them. But this guy gives you the assassinations I was talking about, they give you dark side points. I have spoke to him, by the way, when I was, like, going back to my ship. Wait, wait, wait. Does he not give them to you until a certain point? Or maybe you can't be Sith. I don't remember how it works. I really don't remember how it works. For some reason, I just remember him giving you quests. And I guess maybe I can't do them because I'm dark side? I don't know. Who knows? Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kolto exports, but a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. There really isn't, yeah. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kolto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. Please, just let me explain. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith, but they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent noticed. the destroyed underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift station. But now that we have the data, Rackard Rift. our operation is in no danger. Love that. Love that word. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts.
Sway, trade injury. Oh, master speed. I don't even know what else I could care enough to take. I'm sure there's a lot of good powers I could have took, but I mean, guys, that's OP. Like. <laughs> In case you didn't know, chat, to be fair, what what speed does, the second and third level, the first one just makes you go quick, but the second and third level of speed make you um, also attack more in combat. Uh, the first one gives you an extra attack, I think it's one extra attack, so like knight speed, and then master gives you two extra attacks. So when you have a double bladed lightsaber or a double sided, like two swords or two, two lightsabers, double, you know, a double weapon, you have like six attacks per turn or five or something like that like it's a lot you'll see it when i attack something you'll see like damage 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 and then they'll hit me for like damage damage or damage you know you'll notice it deep ocean or research station use the submersion <laughs> station <laughs> The fishy station. They actually tried to muffle the sound when you were underwater there for all like the roleplay purposes. I like that. It was okay, I guess. Alright, let's try to beat this station in one episode. I mean, it shouldn't be hired, but... I'm not sure why they give you antidote kits, either. I mean, I know that you can get poisoned by them, but, like... You could just use cleanse. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It just seems weird to me. I, I guess if you don't have heal, you can't cleanse, but even then, I don't know. Who would be a Jedi and not take heal? How just... did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. We have to. We have to leave. The cell cath, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere, and the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. They're dead. All dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. Uh, I locked the door behind us, but but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the Selkath, like us. What? No. You're one of them. Yeah, a free dark side point. Our remains? Okay. Hold on, I have to look something up really quickly. Well, it's for later, but I do have to look it up. Because I want to make sure I, uh, I want I want to get Darth Bandon's lightsaber. Potentially. I don't know if you can change the color of it. If you can't, then I don't know if I care. It's not even that good. It's just better than the average. It's the best lightsaber in the game. It's just not that big. If it's not... 
If I can't use it, it's okay. <laughs> if I can't change the color of it, I probably won't use it. I don't really want a red one. Like, red is just so boring. The light saving co light super color to me. Like, everyone that goes dark side uses red because it's just generic. Like, it's just super generic to me. I can't really stand it for that exact reason. Activate, but I guess that works too. Was a Jedi. Huh. Unlucky, dude. Imagine dying to a bunch of fish as a Jedi, dude. That's a that's a big unlucky. Well, that was like the worst RNG I could have gotten. See that shit? I like missed every attack. My wisdom's pretty good. I might take strength next attribute. I think I get two or three more attributes. I might. I need another strength or two. Um, my two hits not like perfect. It's definitely a little bit off sometimes. I don't miss often, but every once in a while I just miss it. And then I then I then I get random lives where I do that. I'm just like slice, 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 and everything just dies. Yeah, I was like, of five attacks, I'm missing about one sometimes. Every few attacks. So yeah, perfect. There's mines still at this place, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run over them without even trying. I don't I, I didn't even take any uh Perception cost I can't remember what they call perception in this game. Awareness. I have like no awareness. I guess I haven't noticed. I think it was so much armor, dude. Where are my teammates going? I'm actually really confused. Where are you guys? Okay. Suit. We needed that suit later, I just picked up that. I was in the middle of attacking him and he just like sent him across the room. Well, Basilo's heal now. Like full heal. We never got to actually explore this room because for some reason people decided they wanted to run to the other side of the fucking area. Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I walk out and bam! Cell cats swarm in from everywhere, ripping and rending. Fishy moves fast and silent. No, 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 my friend. I don't play that game. I've got a winning hand right here in this room. My room. No fishy fishy for me. When the cell cat went insane and started killing everybody, 
I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No, you can't hurt me in here. I'm invincible. Ah! <laughs> Easy. I probably can't even loot him for anything, like it wasn't really actually worth doing that, it was just dark side points. I mean, that's what I wanted was dark side points, so... Again, Jolie is just opening doors and attacking people. A prototype Ion Blaster. Where the hell did the self have that? When I use a basic attack after flurry, it's more likely to hit. Flurry, flurry has a good chance of a pretty good chance of missing, even if it's master. It's pretty. I mean, it's not that high, but it's an okay chance of missing. It's like ten percent chance or something like that. And a basic attack is like a less than one percent chance of missing once you have high enough stats. It's really low. Like you pretty much can't miss a basic attack. It's really hard, to be honest. You'd have to have a horrible boat character. Like your character doesn't be trash. So when they're low health, I don't, I don't I don't do every attack. I just do it when they're low health. If you haven't noticed, it's so that they they might I only need to hit them for like five damage, right? And they and I mean if I hit them, I'm gonna do ten or eleven. So I just I just do whatever's gonna make sure they go down. It's whatever. That's that's the reason for that. I think this is where no no. Still build the last little bit of the area. Really, dude? I just say like five times in a row. There's like, it's hard to miss a basic attack. I don't think I can destroy this door. Yeah, okay, there we go. Jesus Christ! I shouldn't have been that hard. Move. Yes. Why can't I? I have a suit. Why? Why does it matter? Or is it just not like it's sealed? I guess it's still from the other side. <clears throat> airlock, airlock, airlock. Yeah, it's just a uh, one eighty in a second here. And we'll run to the one over here. All party members will stay behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave party members and begin airlock sequence. We have to go out alone. Oh god. Chat, I don't know how you guys are ever going to see anything here. 
Ethics, brightness. Jesus. I don't remember it being this dark last time. This game on like, max brightness looks so weird. I wish I could use force powers in this suit. I know it's like a suit, quote unquote, but... The door's welded shut, apparently, so we just go forward. I think I have to go... Oh, wait, is it not this way? Oh, no. Did I go the wrong way? Oh, come on, man. I don't want to loot. I want to get... This takes so long, that's why I'm annoyed about it. Like, you have to walk at this pace through this whole area. There's a big map area you can go through here, and it's all this fast. I was going to try to speed up by, like, clicking on that and then making myself go forward. This is the only reason I wish I could use force powers is I just use speed so I could speed up. That's literally all they would do is use speed. I think there's a mod out there that... Because in KOTAR 2, you, uh, you walk, uh, faster. There's a faster speed you can walk in in this for some reason, the suit. Um, I don't remember how it even works. But, like, you, like, kind of jog while in it. Like, it's not even that much quicker, but it's quicker. And that's how you move in the Who's suit there? in Kotar 2. You always suck I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? I'm a merc the Republic hired a couple days ago to investigate. But all we found was a bunch of insane cell calf killing everything that moves. All my companions are dead. The cell calf swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell calves. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hrackert Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together. But I won't wait around in here with the cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want. Down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe. Ah, let me through. Come on, hurry up. Don't just stand there, we have to keep moving. The water is filled with cow! Ah! I was just looking at something, like, related to the game, actually. So, we have to go this way. Yeah, this way. Might as well be reading about stuff while I try to run around on this damn fucking... Almost got uh, destroyed by that... I almost got owned, dude.
this last shark here. Side over here. We have to go back inside for a minute and talk to some people. I thought it says it's locked and then lets you in, anyways. <laughs> Just found that funny. I guess I forget how to solve this. No, no, you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the Cellcath in. No, stay out, stay out. I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them, kill them now. Oh, well, that's rude. No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No, the Selkath are coming. No. No, no! Ah! Ah, no! You, Sammy, Sammy, calm down. I don't think they're here to kill us. Uh, Kono, Kono, are, are they? Yes, I think they're here to help us. I, I'm sorry for what I did. I don't know what came over me. I, I, I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the cell cat went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The Frax and sharks just tore them apart. It was, it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Cellcath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team? My team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me? I... I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the Cellcath outside the doors every once in a while, and... strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This... this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Faraxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then, all the Selkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. It was like they couldn't control themselves. Like the sound that the monster was making in our heads drove them insane. Well, maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things, too. Like, why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. 
would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. With Colto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. Hmm. That would be suicide! It's out there still! Out there, waiting okay. for us. The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but... They still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the culto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You can take this canister of toxin. Working on it just before the giant shark drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kulto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. Wait, don't! We don't know what effect the toxin will have on the ocean environment around the rift. It could poison the water really against care. all life. It could poison the culto itself. I'm telling you, my dark side character doesn't care. Way. Well, the monster seems to have been really driven care. out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. You know it's the right thing to do. Just put the canister into the machine and have it vent into the rift. The Firaxan shark should die in no time. No, you shouldn't do that. It could poison everything. Just reprogram oh, the harvesting be machine's quiet. computer pressure the fuel tanks. Once it's destroyed, the shark should just leave. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice. I'm a dark side character. I don't need to hear the whole, Oh my god, they're gonna destroy the thing! I don't care. I don't. Don't care. I... At all. <laughs> I, I'm literally a dark side character. That, if that shark getting poisoned sounds sick to me. I'm gonna do the shit out of that, okay? I've always played this game and solved the puzzle to, like, get the place to blow up, the light side version. I've always done that. I've never decided, hey, I'm gonna poison the living shit out of that shark. I don't... I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm, gonna, I'm never doing that again, probably, but I'm gonna do it because I'm... I'm not lily gagging around and fucking... blowing up Colto tanks and shit. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. Instead of the beginning of this let's play, I'm gonna do dark side things. I'm gonna do Sith stuff. I'm gonna blow shit up sometimes when we get dark side as fuck. I'm gonna manipulate people. I'm gonna mind dominate people. I'm gonna poison the fuck out of this shark. Are you ready for this shit? This shark going down, man. This shark going down. And I, it's, it's harder to get into this court case when you do poison the shark. I, I don't remember how to actually get out, but we'll do that too. Be the toxin. Yeah. Yeah, suck that shit up. To be fair, 
the light side version of this is just saving a very, very dark side shark. That's all you're doing is saving a dark side shark. Holy toxin. I mean, I know I've that I, 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 I don't know if I feel that bad, but holy... Oh, look at it hiccup. Oh, it's dead. It, it kind of was alive for like a second there, but it's gone. I've never done that. I didn't actually know that there was a cutscene for it, actually, to be honest. I mean, I, you'd think, right? But... I think even when I did Darkseid the one time, I did mostly light side stuff and then just chose to finish the game as a dark side character. By like, uh, like I, I did, uh, it was past the point of no return that I went dark side. So like my dark side character had less than that, like my dark side was less than that, like it wasn't even that high. This is probably the most dark side I've ever been on Kotar 1 for sure. Kotar 2 I've played dark side once and I did kind of do it correctly at least. I can't even target this one. You can most usually target the star maps and like look at them, but you can't even do it with that one for some reason. Oh, well, this is where we go back. Uh, a big important fight comes up soon. I'm gonna go get Bandon. Is there not another way back inside? Can I not go like over here? I don't remember. Hold on, let's find out. I know I could go back in the way I just was, which was like this way. But can I not go to the other station right away instead of going all the way back through the other way? Let's find out. I wonder if Bastila and what's his name are talking shit about me, chat. Uh, Jolie. Think they're talking shit, chat? Think I should stab them both when we go back? They should probably both enjoy their level ups. Yeah, that's why that one was locked. That's the exit one. Alright. Let's go have an interaction with Darth Bendon. I mean, it's not that much of a spoiler, to be fair. I was going to say it's a bit of a spoiler, but it's really not. I mean, it's, it's coming right now, literally, and... He was sent to kill us last planet. I'm, you, you run into him eventually, and you think, right? My search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Your words mean nothing to me. Unless you wish to beg for your life. No. Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Okay. Fun. Bro, can I play the game? Bro, this is this is bullshit. You're dead. I'm so sick of this. I'm done. Like how his buddies aren't helping. I'm 
m'a enculé. enough. Did I loot this already? Yeah, I did. I don't know why I even tried. It's obviously looted, Zach. It was at the very beginning of the damn dungeon. Returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Insane. What did they do? And why? They killed everyone? And the mercenaries we sent later? That... It's horrible. What caused them to all go insane at once like that? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? It's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? Contaminated? That's... That's much worse than I would ever have thought possible. It might have been better to lose the entire facility rather than damage the culto supply. This must remain entirely secret. We cannot allow anyone to find out that we damaged the Colto production, or we would be banned permanently from the planet. We can only hope that the damage that was caused will go away in time. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need, and for that I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Uh... Why did I get dark side points for? I mean, that's fine, I just don't know what I got them for. I don't actually know what I got them for. I didn't do anything bad, I just said that I told them the truth. I, what? Okay. I, okay. We're about to get in trouble, that's why I saved. We're about to walk up this area right here and get yelled at by Selkath for... Might as well save right at this door. And uh, probably die like four or five times trying to figure out a way out of this court case. Same dude. I'm sure there's a way to get out of it. I don't know what it is, though.
You want to go down there and find out? I can't go back to Manon. Can I even go outside, chat? We're about to end the episode, by the way, so... It would suck if I actually couldn't, because I don't really- I want to be able to do the quests here, but I guess it's okay. If that's what happens, it's kind of- it's story, dude. I don't care. It's whatever. I didn't think of that. I forgot that you can get banned from the planet forever. I'm guessing I can't go outside. Maybe? What happens if I go outside? Am I just shot at? Let's save quickly just in case I do get, like, in trouble for trying to go back outside onto Manon, but... Yeah, I'm not allowed to back at Manon. Unlucky, dude. Well, I guess I can't do any of the Manon quests. I'll do every other quest, I guess, that I can find, but I cannot do Manon quests, chat. So we can't even do- ah, it sucks. Oh, well. That's okay. It's kind of what happens when you do the dark side, so... This is... what's his name's lightsaber? I think. 
I don't know how it works, so I'm not gonna fiddle with it right now in case you can bu if it bugs it. But uh, when I when I come back, I'll tell you guys what I did with it if I if I if I did something. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Um, part twelve. We will go to the next planet. Or whatever happens next, you know, something happens next, something. Um, and we'll just continue the story. That's what we'll probably be doing. I don't know if I'll play off screen or not. I don't know. Uh, uh, save my game here real quick and log off.